Almost every black woman has had that deflating moment of searching for a nude garment to smooth but not show or to accentuate without dominating an outfit. Skin is always in, which is why nude is legit a wardrobe color. Uh, at least it is for white women. The typical color nude looks nothing like us. And for generations, we've been boxed in with limited color choices of pink and beige or harsh black to try and match our melanated skin. But that's finally changing. The next queen that we're amplifying is a political PR pro turned fashion designer. She's building her brand and making the case that nude is not a color. Thanks to Salone Monet, women of different skin tones can finally find chic shoes in their shade. Salone, thanks so much for stopping by. I gotta tell you, I'm stalking you on the gram, so it's so excited to have you here. <laughs> Totally love what you're doing. Please tell me all about your fabulous shoes and really what motivated you to create space for inclusivity in the very exclusive fashion industry. Yeah, I mean, just to answer your uh, last question first, I was motivated because it was something that I wanted for myself. I think it's very easy to be written off as saying new shoes are kind of a frivolous accessory. But when it comes down to having those style staples in your wardrobe, when you have a shoe that matches your personal skin tone, that's something that you can reach for over and over again. Sloan, I got to tell you, I have often wanted nude shoes and I'm of the skin tone that I can kind of find it right which eh, you know give or yeah. take sometimes it's a little orange sometimes a little peach sometimes it's a little pink sometimes a little whatever and half the time I'm not actually as tanned as I think I am in my head but nonetheless <laughs> there is a lengthening that happens when you have on a pump that like really brings your kind of full leg line down and so what you've been doing I would imagine we've all dreamed about and no one actually thought to create this in the first place so I'm curious once you jumped into the arena, what are you finding about the competition? Yeah, I mean, the competition really has been ignoring this for a very long time. I mean, they've literally been putting out the same color shoe for season after season and touting it as the style accessory that every woman is supposed to have. I mean, I remember growing up and reading in magazines that every woman is supposed to have a pair of jeans and, you know, and have, you know, a great top and your blouse and then also have this nude shoe. But then when you actually go to look at it, it doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do because it's not our nude. So so, you know, you see it on the red carpet time and time again on people who are who do match that like sort of kind of shade of nude. But my brand steps in and we say nude isn't a color. Nude is, you know, it's a state of being. Mm. It's a state of undress. It's about celebrating the wearer. It, but it's definitely not defined by mm. a single Pantone as the industry has defined done for years and years and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that our voices aren't represented in the shoe industry and it's really wild because black women we love shoes I mean I used to work in a shoe store and that's actually where I got the idea for the shoe because my manager was like oh if a woman is having a hard time styling an outfit she's got a great look but doesn't know what shoe to put with it you can always suggest a nude heel and I said yes that makes sense but we're only offering this one color so that was a light bulb moment for me at that time I was still living in D.C., which is obviously a very diverse city, the, at once called a chocolate city. So it's like, how can we be <laughs> suggesting this to people, but not actually, you know, fulfilling what the garment is designed to do? So that was, you know, my light bulb moment. And I just went on and started working on it from there. And I mean, now there are some brands that are starting to kind of get hit. But I say it's too little too late. Now we realize that not only mm. is it great to have this valuable new chew, but it also means something when you shop with a black designer and a black owned brand. Oh, absolutely. Now, I am always looking for <laughs> nude items to go under my tops and also under like my white pants. And just to have and roll around in, tell us how you've kind of expanded beyond shoes. What else you got? 
Yes. Yeah, so now I just recently launched a loungewear line. Um, and then there's other brands. I have to shout out some of my sister brands, um, uh, nude bar with it by founded by Erin Carpenter. She does undergarments. So like to go under, you know, those light colored pants or to go under chinos, you definitely do need, um, some uh, nude undergarments as well. And it's just like one of those things that it's not just in shoes, it's in undergarments. It's until very recently, it was even in makeup, you know, a lot of black makeup design for women of color cast it up had a white cast a lot of sunscreen had a white cast so it just it's like time and time again even <laughs> band-aids the ace bandage which is designed to like stabilize your arm if you have a sprain is that color because it's designed to match their skin tone and not ours so it's just like here are all these Ooh. industries that we see industries that we see that we're just not being thought about and we're being overlooked and it really it really is kind of you know growing up in a society like that i feel like it could it could play a toll and that's where we see you know like colorism come into play because we really are only identifying this one color of beauty this one shade as nude and it's just as we know it's simply not the case all melanin is gorgeous and we want to celebrate it in all mm -hmm. its shades now, we have heard of so many companies coming out, especially the fashion industry, coming out in support of Black Lives Matter, all because of last summer, etc. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in solidarity, Black Lives, Black Lives, etc., etc., etc. We also know that fashion has a very long history of completely stealing from black culture and giving nothing back. And I wonder what you're seeing on the inside as an entrepreneur who is growing a business, looking to expand, raise money, build out distribution, etc. Are you starting to experience executives in the industry practicing what they preach about Black Lives Mattering or not? They're just beginning, I will say. Um, it's the beginning. So there are definitely a lot of companies and a lot of retailers that are now acknowledging that we take a lot of money from black community. We've been, you know, appropriating a lot of our styles for generations and we and, and black people spend dollars with us so now we need to make sure that black owned businesses are on our shelves so that we are developing mm. you know the ability for black people to create wealth within their community um so there's definitely you know there's definitely some changes happening and there's been a lot of a shift that retailers are acknowledging that they need to make sure that they have black brands represented on their store shelves. Um, but I will definitely say it's the beginning. You know, it, I believe that Target just um, last year said that they, or maybe it was earlier this year, that they were going to be making sure that they're going to invest $2 billion into black brands and mm. developing them on their store shelves. Fantastic. You know, but at the end of the day, Target their revenue is a lot is massive so i think that it's definitely the starting point you know it's that i don't think that it should be at all yeah. like the considered that that's the final destination so we need to make sure that we're mm -hmm. continuing to hold these companies accountable and making sure that like what they said that they were going to do at the beginning of this year and last summer continues to come to fruition and it's not just like you know all a check mark right. and move on yeah Salome Monet, thank you so much for joining me tonight on Amplified. We will always amplify our black businesses and tell people to go buy black. Check her out. Thank you very much.